Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. This morning, we're here to talk smartphone long exposure photography. Let's get it. All right, Joe, so today's video is gonna be about smartphone long exposure photography, but you haven't told me what long exposure photography is. I'll do that right now. What's long exposure photography? Well, in layman's terms, it's a style of photography in which your camera sensor is opened for longer. The main difference between traditional long exposure photography and smartphone long exposure photography is going to be in the type of sensor that you have. In a traditional DSLR camera, you're gonna have a mechanical sensor, whereas with a smartphone or in most newfangled mirrorless cameras, you're going to have an electronic sensor. There are pros and cons to each, and if you wanna learn more about that, check out the uh, written guide linked in the description. So, as you might have guessed, there are a number of different types of long exposure photography that you can do on your smartphone. There's just regular old long exposure photography where you're keeping that camera sensor open for longer and you're getting a buttery look for all of your movement and lights. Then there's also light painting on your smartphone. If you're interested in more of that, I'll go ahead and link uh, to the video up there. And there's also astrophotography on your smartphone. I tried to do a little experimenting with the night mode, night sight, whatever it's called, on my Google Pixel 3a this morning, and it was not particularly effective. I don't think that the cloud cover was real good for astrophotography. I didn't see any stars as I was driving out to where I'm shooting this morning, and even as the sun has risen, I don't see any stars. So if you're interested in a full in-depth guide to astrophotography, there is a written one that is linked down there in the description from the website. And then if you drop some comments down there and you're like, hey Joe, do a smartphone astrophotography guide in a video version, I'll do it. So yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so depending on whether you're shooting on iPhone or Android, there are some different options available to you for long exposure. If you are shooting with an iPhone, you are going to be much better off today. If you're shooting with an Android, uh, to be honest, the selection for long exposure photography apps for Android is pretty abysmal. It's, it's actually quite sad. Um, but if you have an iPhone, then you're going to be able to, just in your regular native camera app, turn on the live photos feature, and then after you've taken your photo, you just swipe down, scroll over to long exposure, tap it, and then you'll see the long exposure. I'll show you some examples of how I did that right now. You're gonna click the live photo button in the top right hand corner. You're gonna lock your focus and exposure and make sure that you see that AE slash AF lock plus live photo to reaffirm that all of your settings are correct. Once you take the photo, you're going to click the camera roll button in the bottom right hand corner. Then you swipe up, swipe over, hit that long exposure button, and that's how you take a long exposure on Apple's native camera. To do long exposure on a smartphone, you really only need some sort of tripod or gimbal to make sure that your camera doesn't move. But I'm also gonna go ahead and show you how to do it on the Moment Pro camera app because that's gonna have super awesome motion blur. It's gonna make your long exposure look even more professional. The Apple Live Photo trick is, it's passable, but it just doesn't look quite as good as the doing it on the Moment Pro camera app. So I'll do that, show you how to do it, so you can do it too. The app plus the ability to do long exposure costs less than $7, so it's worth it. Let's do it.
To do long exposure photography on the Moment Pro camera app, you need to first get into slow shutter mode. You do this by clicking that button in the bottom right hand corner. Then you click motion blur in the bottom left hand corner to switch into the light trails mode. From there you adjust your shutter. I chose 15 seconds because it was windy here, but when I did the light painting video for example, I set it at 30 seconds or bulb. After that you just adjust your exposure, ISO, and focus. I had everything set to auto here because I was trying to do things efficiently while filming. And then when you're shooting in the Moment Pro camera app, everything's going to auto export to your camera roll. Easy as that. All right, you're ready to shoot long exposure photos right on your smartphone. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos with phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Also, go ahead and comment down below which type of long exposure photography you're most excited to try out. I'd love to give you some extra tips and tricks to get you started. As always, go ahead and subscribe to Photos with Phones' YouTube channel. We're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, hacks, tricks, unboxings, reviews, everything in between. You're going to want to check it out. Toodles. See you in the next one.